DaVinci Resolve is a really great video editing program, but it can be really, really difficult when you want to transfer your work from one PC to another. Here I have my DaVinci Resolve home screen and you can see it stores everything in a database. Unlike many other video editing programs, it doesn't keep its projects totally separate. It stores them in a database. So the first thing I have to do is I have to export my database. There are two icons up here for importing and exporting. So I click the uh, this one to save the database and you can see I've already got one here. So you just save the database somewhere where it's convenient to import later on. So now here I am on another PC. I've got DaVinci Resolve installed. This is the PC I want to copy all my old projects onto. So the first thing I do is I load the database that I saved. So I click this icon and here's the database. Load that and wait for DaVinci Resolve to rebuild it. At first sight, this looks pretty good. It's got my database here and it's got all my uh, directories that I've created with the various different uh, projects in them. What could be more straightforward? Let's try loading one. So here's a project. Up comes DaVinci Resolve and it can't find any of my video clips. That's why all these are marked in red. Well, I can go through these and I can try and relink them uh, using this. Oh, but that's going to take forever. Isn't there a simpler way of doing it for all my projects all in one go? Yes, there is. Let me tell you how. The first thing you need to do is copy all your original clips, all the audio, all the video. You can see I've got this directory structure here. All the audio and video from the computer that you uh, started out with, that you, were that you were copying your database from, onto your new computer. So you can see here is all my work down here arranged into quite a complicated uh, network of subdirectories. So that maintains the same path structure. And that is really, really important because DaVinci Resolve projects are going to refer to the path structure in order to find your video clips. But I have an extra problem. Now, if you're lucky and on your source PC, the data disk, the, the drive you copied from has the same drive letter as on the PC that you're copying onto, then everything might now work. With me, that's not the case. My data disk here, you can see, is drive D. But on um, the source disk, the one I copied from, it was drive E. So when I load into DaVinci Resolve, it still won't find my clips. How do I fix that? Let me show you. There is a little trick to do that. The way to do it is to uh, open up a command prompt. So you go into here and you enter cmd to open a command prompt and when you're at the command prompt you then enter this command it tells windows to treat a specific directory as though it was a drive letter so here i'm telling it i've got a, a directory called d colon hughes videos i want it to be treated as though it were the e drive remember i'm copying all my data on the source pc from a drive that has the letter e onto a drive with the letter D. So I enter that, and now the uh, directory D colon slash Hughes videos will be treated as though it was an actual physical drive with the drive letter E. Now, in order for that to work, let me show you again the uh, structure that I've used. In fact, up here, you can see that I've got this Hughes videos directory, and I've copied all my clips and all the subdirectories beneath that uh, first bitwise directory there, I've copied them under the Hughes videos directory. Hughes videos is now treated as an entire disk. It's not, as far as DaVinci Resolve is concerned, it's not called uh, Hughes videos, it's a disk drive called E. So the structure is now the same as on the source uh, disk. Let me test this out. I'll load up DaVinci Resolve and let's see if I can this time load a project and maintain all of the clips without having to relink them. If they're in red, I've got trouble still. And no, there they are. It's found them. So that's the simple way to relink all your clips, even if you're copying from one data drive which has a different drive letter to a new data drive. So, to be clear, 
This is the syntax of the subst command that you need to use when mapping a drive letter to a directory. So to make a directory called My Videos on drive D act as a virtual disk drive called E, I enter this. And now when I look in Explorer, I see that all the directories under My Videos seem to be living on a drive called E. They continue to exist on the physical drive D, as you can see here. To remove drive mapping, enter the D parameter like this. You can even map a complete drive, like this. This makes the folders on the D drive available on the virtual E drive. Here you must be sure to have no slash after the virtual drive name, so here that's E colon, but you need to add a slash after the physical drive name, here that's D colon slash. And now this is what the Explorer shows me. I now have a physical D drive and what appears to be an identical E drive, which means I can access the same file and directory structure with a path that uses either the D or the E drive. But there's just one problem. The drive substitution vanishes when I reboot my PC. I would need to re-enter the subst command after each reboot. There is a simple way around that, and I'll explain that in my next video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to the Code With You channel, and click the bell to get an email whenever I upload new lessons.